Hi everyone, do I have a great productivity tip for you? This is a tip that's going to help you save some time with your email. If you're anything like me, there are critical points in the course of a semester where I find myself writing basically the same email over and over again with maybe a little bit of personalization or modification between the messages, but not too much. When I do this in the past, I have used a Word document or a Google document to save the email and then kind of side by side just copy and paste over into the email message. And that's worked fine. But what I have discovered is that there is a way to save yourself some extra clicking and definitely some extra windows being open on your screen. There is now a template feature within Outlook and Gmail that you can use to create and store your email templates within the email application. So I'm gonna quickly here show you how it's done. Right now, I am in the installed version of Outlook and the formatting ribbon for Outlook here across the top. This is for my actual main Outlook application. I'm going to create a new email message and then I get the formatting ribbon for the email message itself. Click on View Templates button, and this is an add-in that is managed at the admin level of your email um, application. So as long as it's turned on for your institution, you should be able to click View Templates, and you will be prompted to install the add-in the first time that you access it. Once you access, view templates. You will already have some pre-created templates. There are these short messages here at the bottom. And then you can also add your own template. So I have added here an advising appointment reminder email message for students. I'm going to click on that. The, you can see that the text of that message popped right into my email. All I have to do is add the subject line for my email. Great. And then do whatever modification I want to do. So obviously I want to personalize this, add the student's name, maybe change the date and the time of the appointment, uh, update the meeting link for our Zoom meeting, um, and then I can add the student's name to the two line and send it off. Easy as that. You can also access this app in the web version of Outlook. So I'm going to head over to my browser. I'm in Outlook, I'm going to click New Message, and then head to the bottom, that's where my formatting ribbon is, yours might be at the top, click the uh, additional options, the three dots here, and then you can see my templates add-in is available in the web app as well. So I click here, click on the message that I created and saved as a template, add my subject line, and then make any modifications to the email message that I need to make. Now, if you don't use Outlook at your institution, you use Gmail instead, that's okay. There's a template feature there too. You just have to enable it. By default, it is disabled. So in Gmail, head over your, to your settings, click on See All Settings, click on Advanced, head over to Templates and click Enable, and then save your changes. Once you do this, refresh your email and compose a message. You will have the option to save the message as a template. So go ahead and compose your email. Let me say advising, appointment, reminder. add the body of my email, make any modifications that I want to to the message, but remember that I'm saving it as a template, so this isn't where I personalize it. This is just where I'm capturing it to reuse as a template. Click on the additional options, and then under templates, you save the draft as a template.
Then in the future, when you want to grab a template, you'll compose an email, head over to templates and grab the template and it populates automatically into your email message. Think of all the ways that this tool can save you time um, and make things just a little bit more efficient in your life. Let me know um, if you try this out. I want to hear how it goes. Thanks for watching.